She's like the same size though. So. Yeah, I know, but like bigger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
has been waiting for a serious job like this for a very long time and so he's finally getting the corner call up let's uh let's see how he goes i think you'll be pretty enthusiastic i've done it before with him where uh i just used his frustration 
to take it out on the on the bite um, sleeve. And he seemed to do quite well. At first, Fox has naturally got quite a soft uh, mouth. And at first he's just kind of mouthing. Uh, but once I danced it around, teased him a little bit with it, you know, gave him the body language of, you've got nothing, you can't get me. He just really went and, and had a go. So I'm hoping to see some of that aggression today from Barney because I see that aggression in him and frustration with the rest of the pack. So I want to try to get him to get rid of some of that frustration here today. good getting quite a few a few head thrusts and shaking out of Roscoe that's what I wanted I wanted him to start to play at a bit more his strength level without completely destroying my arm good boy mate good boy good girl hey, bro. Hey, bro. good girl good girl darling good girl all right guys Breakfast time. Whoa, look at food. Let's go. I bet stuff Are you excited, Ellen Evie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. You excited, Evie? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? We're going on a cruise for three days and four nights. Four, three nights, four days, yeah. This is fun. It's so hard. See how it works. See what is on that cruise ship. When I see the size of my mind. Let's go to bed and say goodbye to Dad. Wolfie, you're not going. Come on, mate. You got to stay here with Mum and Dad. Oh, jeez. Watch him throw the controller in a second. Here. Yeah. Don't lose it. Oh, let me have a look. I How exciting. It. What an adventure. I'm my private place. Give, give me a kissy. Give me a kissy. Mwah. Good job. See you guys. Bye, have baby. fun. Bye, Bye, Take some videos and just make some good memories. Yeah. Okay, guys. Nice. And I got the nanny got a camera. You didn't have to share it because I got the battery and then it didn't. Did you get all the printout and stuff? Bye, Bye Dad. Thanks for taking them. Yeah, we'll see you Monday. Bunny. Sisters are gone. Oh, buddy.
G'day guys. We uh, thought we'd share something with you. We got approached recently to do a bit of a project, a story on one of the dogs, and I suppose it brought up some uh, some old memories. The evolution of what, like you know, from the farm being you know the doggy daycare to what it is now, which is I don't even know how to describe it really. <laughs> what is it like? Um, Gee. Does it even have a title? I don't think so. I, I think don't it's know just if we crazy even... dog people. Yeah, okay. That's what it's turned into. <laughs> we were always crazy Su dog successful people. Successful business to full blown <laughs> undeniable crazies. <laughs> um, so, like, we. I feel like everyone has come along for the journey yep. um, of us, you know, shutting down the business and, um, you know, now here we are doing, um, you know, all the rescue work or um, giving a home to all of these dogs. And so yeah. we had, you had a conversation with somebody yesterday and um, in regards to this project, um, yeah. that could be quite um, exciting and could help us a lot. Yeah. Um, and so we discovered some, uh, well, didn't discover, well, we, we knew we, it existed. We revisited. Some, some footage, old footage because we had to get it all prepared for them and it and it really you know was a bit of a reminder of like oh yeah remember that remember when the wheels were falling off and we had these crazy dogs that wanted to rip each other apart and we had you know we were shutting down the business and uh, it was a crazy time yeah and so we were just reminiscing um roscoe and chance yeah, which full, never which never made the light of day. We no, never we never full, put it out full there. Full blown fighting in mm. the bush, and with muzzles on. Yeah, with muzzles on. But it was just when we saw it, we were like, I oh, remember when every day was like that. Yeah. You know, and it was it was, very it was really difficult to um, to stay positive, wasn't it? Mm. You know, we were very used to running the daycare where it was just happy, happy dogs just peaceful, happy, exciting. you know, fun, exciting things. And here we were now um, dealing with dogs wanting to kill each other every day. But then all of a sudden when you get these dogs come through when we're talking about rehab and they've got serious aggression, all of a sudden, okay, everyone go inside. I'm going to go out the back and I've got to train these guys till all dark. Mm. You know, and it was every yeah. morning, every afternoon. And just I'd trying sit to there, like, watching my phone. Yeah, wait, waiting for a call. Or no. listening out for screams. <laughs> you know, why close down the business? The dogs, Chance, Nevea, Molly and Roscoe. Yep. So, um, they arrived on our doorstep one day. And mm. um, we... You hadn't even assessed them, no. and we didn't even know who was turning up. We were just told that um, there were a couple of dogs that were going to be put to sleep and they needed to be somewhere else um, so that that didn't happen. Yeah. Um, and and no backstory about them. Even when they turned up, I'm like, so tell me what's the story of this yeah. guy. Oh, we don't know. We didn't know like, oh. how many there would be. We had no idea um, even what their issues were or what kind of yeah. commitment we were taking on at that point. It was the first time we'd ever heard of or met um, Chance, Nevea, Molly and Roscoe on that day that they arrived. And remember, um, Nevea had a go at me through the cage. When yeah. Yeah. So, so I was like, oh, we were like, oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> this these, is. These guys will be serious. And at the time, we were running, um, you know, full time daycare. Yeah. We really wanted to help out the shelter, um, but we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. To be honest, we didn't realise that it was going to be twelve months rehab. Twelve months with rehabilitation. All the crazy events that took place in that 12 months. The loss of staff resources. We didn't realise <coughs> that we were going to have to close down the business to be able to take on these dogs. So yeah. in hindsight, it's probably good that we had no idea. As with but... everything, all the dogs that have come here, as soon as they set foot here, mm. that's it. Yeah. You know, we, we, yeah, they're we never going back to the shelter and they're so... never going out of here until they're, yeah. you know, so, Ready. you know, it, that was the thing with us was we were like, well, we can't turn our back on these dogs mm. and we can't do both the dogs and the business. And, you know, the fact that we had issues with uh, 
the staff. We took on, that was like the first part of it, we took on those dogs, yeah. right? And then with full staff, <laughs> you know. Uh, so we thought that, I, I really feel like in our minds, we felt like... Um, with the support roles, with the support staff, we could do it. Hopefully over the next couple of months, we would have them at a point where we could start to integrate them into the pack. That was that was our plan, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but it didn't work out. We that didn't way. work out. Bus driver left. Um, but threw us under the bus. <laughs> That's what happened. And then another surprise, um, like staff member leaving. Yeah. Um, and a really important one, and and that one was a really sad one for us wasn't it yeah um, at the time and um, it was also a shock it was, um, it was every, unexpected it was very sudden that surrounded that loss yes. um, and it w definitely wasn't something that we could talk about it's no. still not something that we can and, talk about uh, but hey, and then uh, you know fast forward another month or so and we lost Jason. Same period yeah. where all this happened, that was when he had the baby and it's okay. like, okay, I'm out. Yep. So, all in all, in a short period of time, we yeah. lost the so we, so we had a huge loss of um, staff. We had to choose between the rescue dogs that had nobody to care for them, no, no one putting any time or energy into them and you know if we made that decision they would all be put to sleep because that's why they were here in the first place yeah they couldn't they they um d couldn't take them back so mm. and no one was going to adopt them no. um or so it know, was we it, choose the business with the dogs that yeah. are all very well loved we very definitely well felt after. like this was the decision with the that we were having to make didn't we like was, we 100 percent felt like that was um, and so as far as that was concerned, we couldn't abandon these dogs that, you know, yeah. we had started with. And we knew that all the daycare dogs would be fine. There's no no risk to their lives there, you know? No. We knew that it was going to be a shock and we were really... It was a, it was a massive hit it, to our revenue stream. We were really <laughs> sad to, um, you know, have to say goodbye to the dogs. You know, we'd, we'd, we'd put our blood, sweat and tears into building this business and building that pack of dogs five days a week, 40 dogs per day, training every single one of them to be the best dog they can be, teaching them to swim, teaching them to be social, getting over whatever hurdles that they had individually. I was working with them every single day for the last uh, six years and we had to say goodbye to that. So that was, that was tough. It was really tough. Um, and then now I guess we're here where this is where this video that we looked over yesterday mm. and had us talking, bringing back all these, yeah. you know, memories. They were very sad, difficult days. You know, all this stuff was going on around us mm. in terms of, you know, there was no revenue. Um, you know, we closed the business down. We'd taken this massive risk. Um, there was no help in terms of staff. These dogs that just had so much anger inside of them and trauma and all of those things, it was, um, and they just wanted to really hurt each other, didn't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, like when you're doing work with dogs like this, you take on a little bit of what they're going through so that you can help them through it. So, you know, when they're feeling that aggression, that anger, that, um, you know, sadness, mm. it does it, it does wash off on you, you know, mm. and you do take it on and you, it's, I remember coming away from many of the encounters and just being so flat and drained and depressed mm. and, you know, just walking away thinking, you know, how long is this going to take? How, how much have we got left in us? You know, what's what's, mm. what's it going to take to, it to get these guys through it? It could have been toll on our relationship and our family, didn't it? Mm. You know, it was just, it was really hard time. Um, and I just don't think that um, we shared it with everybody just because it was so... Well, it was pretty serious. It was really serious. And then, you know, we, at that time, 
we had an audience that was all about, you know, helping them through their daily struggles as well. Mm. So they, we, they wanted the happiness. They and wanted we, the... we wanted to be able to give them that, but it just wasn't there. The days yeah. were, um, were not that for, for quite some time. Um, so yeah, all these, all these emotions what? and memories sort of came flooding what? back <laughs> yesterday yeah. when we saw this clip and we're like, oh yeah, remember that? Mm. Uh, you'll see just how intense it was. Uh, this was back in the early days mm. when uh, the dogs could not be trusted off muzzle, as you can see. And then uh, it wasn't just a simple, you know, snap here and there, like they wanted to do some damage. Mm. Yes. And, that, and, and that was genuinely every day for at least the first three, four months. This was when we were really trying to push them yeah. through to that social, you know, like you've this, got this to is, go this through is where, this. Yeah, this is where I needed to fast track them. I needed to advance them and we just had to set them up so that they won't injure each other, i.e. put muzzles on them. But then we had to start getting them used to the fact that, hey, we're out on a walk, we're together and this, this isn't allowed. Mm. So, you know, you'll see just how intense it was. Yeah. Wasn't it? Good boy, mate. Good boy. No! No! I suppose the main the main point of this is to reflect on the fact that we came out on the other side here and Chance has had a fairy tale ending, he's been adopted, uh, yeah. all the dogs living their best life now. We made through it because we there were did. times that we were like, Are we gonna are we gonna come out and see the light at the and end of the honestly, tunnel? Honestly, I feel like it was every other day we genuinely were questioning if we were going to make it. Yeah. You know, um, like on so many levels, mm. uh, personally, you know, financially, what were we going to do if um, we couldn't make this work? And um, yeah, so it was stressful. Uh, here we are at the other end. Yeah. Life's good again. Yep, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> we feel like we're in a bit of a better place now. I don't Definitely. Mean, on all counts. Yeah. Um, we've got some breathing space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got three dogs that, um, or three canines that um, require, you know, quite a bit of training yeah. every day. But we're not literally in the midst of um, Easy fights, street or anything. fights I mean, every yeah. day. Um, so but there's still some challenges. There's still. There's still some little things, but it's not as not as intense, and it's not a, it's not affecting us the way that it did back then. Yeah, and the pack, you know, it really it did really affect the pack as well. You know, in those very early days, um, yeah. they had to sit on the other side of the fence and just watch you training. Yeah, um, those four dogs pretty much all day, um, so and then the kids. even. And the kids, and even when you know we were starting to integrate them into just our pack, you know, they were yeah, feeling the stress of um, that those dogs being present. Yeah. You know, poor Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all, all of that. But you can yeah. see the intensity of the pack right? Yeah. Doing it. But anyway, so... um, it's it's positive though. Like the reason we brought this up, uh, because or well, reason it got brought up with us was because of this uh, opportunity to do a project with, with someone who uh, could potentially be quite beneficial. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit exciting. Just help, they can help us with um, our goal at the moment to, mm. to grow YouTube, because that's our yeah. only revenue. Mm -hmm. Like we, we do need to get to just another point. Yeah. Um, we're not quite, you know, people always ask us, um, like there's no need for concern anymore if i can just say that because i know that members were very very worried for a really long time there when we first um gave up daycare um and yeah. we were worried <laughs> it was very stressful we definitely yeah. were on in no position to um like sustain yeah it back then but 
we're definitely in a much better position. Um, a little bit of breathing room. We do. Um, we're not quite where we need to be. Yeah. But we feel like. Um, it's not that far off. Yeah, and um, this project might help us out. Yeah. So that was a positive, and we do feel like um, some good things are happening. Mm. You know, right now mm -hmm. um, we're out of that um, period where everything was. Uh, Felt, doom and gloom. felt like it was not going well. Yeah. All of these dogs have gone through so much. Yeah. You know, whether it be that they have, um, you know, been support members to other dogs coming through, you know, or they've been working through their own issues. Um, they have been through so much over the last, you know, six to eight months. Agree? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, and we do feel like. They so deserve to live, you know, this free and easy, you know, the best life the they best can. Life they can. Um, and, you know, I really feel like we're now being able to give it to them. You know, we're able to give them the training that they need and that they want. Um, yeah. We're also able to give them the activities, you know, that they love. And, um, you know, apart from Cruiser and Diesel, which, you know, we're going to get there. The goal is for them to be fully integrated. You know, they're all living in the home, you know, as one big, large, happy pack. Mm. And um, they're absolutely loving it. So, you know, whilst it was a difficult time for everybody, dogs and humans, we are on the other side now, aren't we? Couldn't have done it without yeah. everybody, you know, all our audience, all our followers. Yeah. Um, you know, all the positive words of encouragement and letters, yep. packages, emails, everyone saying just how much it meant to them. Yeah. Like, I think there was a few moments there where we were just like, you know, if it wasn't for, like, I felt a little bit of um, responsibility almost that it wasn't just us that uh, we were in it with. It was there were a lot of people out there relying on that daily dose of, mm. of uh, happiness to get through their lives. So that was kind of a bit of a driving force to continue on as well at some stages there. And we really appreciate everybody like coming along for this transition. Yeah. Like I know that it was tough. Um, you know, everyone was very used to watching just happy dogs, you know, swimming and jumping off the dock. And, and that was what it, you know, yeah. all the videos were mm -hmm. um, for many years. And then all of a sudden it was, you know, um, those challenging times. And so we lost a lot of um, viewers yeah. from that. Um, so we really appreciate those people that stuck by us through that really tough time. Yeah. Even though, you know, it may not have made for personal viewing like it wasn't. Um, it was definitely a change in content. Yeah. And um, it might not have been popular. Mm. Um, so, but we're very much, yeah. you know, grateful to those that stuck by it, you know, <laughs> and, um, you know, really supported us through that challenging time. Yeah. It's good to, it's good to, I suppose we can talk about it now because it's good to look back on it standing on another side. We you know? can. Well, at the time, it was just, it was really hard to talk. I found it difficult, you know, yeah, well, even, to, an even to put together, like, words to explain what was happening because it just was, it really did feel overwhelming. Yeah. It felt like, um, like we didn't have any help. It was just us and, um, you know, so the words of encouragement, the comments, the mail that was what shone a light in i feel yeah. there were moments where um it lifted us up didn't it yeah and i had a moment of oh, we're not alone it's not just yeah. us um yeah so thank you everybody for that yeah, yeah thank you very much this is supposed who's, to be way more yeah, positive anyone but... who's <laughs> sent in a letter or an email or told us about their struggles and how we're helping yeah uh, it really helped us so yes yeah reminiscing about that period it was very dark so it's hard to, stick, to it put a positive light on it like I, I wanted to say to everybody that um, we 
we watched this and whilst we were like, whoa, remember that when that yeah. was every single day. But we felt day. good about it. Cause... But we felt good about it because Chance had this wonderful home. You know, yeah. Roscoe is living his best life. All the pack members here are having a wonderful time. Yeah, we've got some little, you know, we've Issues got here drama and, and yeah. you know, but um, it's all... we're, and we're back to our old selves. We can talk about it with humor and it was really hard to do that back then. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we just had, we kind of avoided talking about it or... Um, so yeah, giving you a belated insight into what was going on over the last, uh, what is it now, 10 months? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight yeah, I see you broken and weak Where you going, darling? This side I pulled out down over your eyes Finally yeah. Every part of you wants to surrender <laughs> to survive With every star Oh, 
She's just here for a leisurely, leisurely afternoon, this one. Good job, Enzo. Well done, buddy. Good boy, Enzo. Good boy. <laughs> quick feed while we're having a swim and Chester the chocolate lab has just arrived so I'm looking forward to see him he's gonna be very excited to see me I think and I'm sure he's excited to be here at the farm 
So let's see. Hello, how are you? Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Look at you. Hi. Hi, mate. That's what I was expecting to see, that big wiggle butt. You've been in the pool? Yeah, we're all up the pool having a swim. Good day for it. Yeah, hi mate. It's been a while, hasn't it, mate? You ready for a swim? You ready to go up for a swim? Good timing, hey? I don't think I've ever seen this. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. This was uh, every farm day would be like this. Yeah. When you mate, mate. <laughs> every day up there. It's <laughs> exactly what these farm dogs think yeah. too, isn't it? Yeah. They're just like, I knew it. It's Disneyland 24-7. Yeah. It, it never stopped. Mum told me it stopped. Yeah. And I didn't believe her. You should have seen him on the other side of the fence when I went down there. Yeah. Like, because I, I was just rolling down the hill and I was sitting there. And you couldn't really see. Yeah. And then I met eyes with him over the top of the fence and I could just see him jump up and he's wiggling. He's like, oh, g'day. I was like, hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. How you going, buddy? What do you think, mate? That little wiggle bum. Imagine these really hot days without a pool. Yeah. Remember when we first came in, we had that dam, and um, we couldn't, we we refused to open without that dam being operational. Remember that? Mm. We had to re redo the dam. Yeah. Because it'd just be ridiculous out here. It'd be mm. so hot. Mm. Yeah, lucky dogs. Chester, good to see you, mate. We missed you, Chester boy. We missed you, Chester boy. Look at you. Oh, this one's mine. This uh, one's pepperoni. Uh, you probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> Just straight cheese and pepperoni. Says that sounds like my favourite pizza. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. You can just tell inside they're just like. I knew I was missing out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> All the dogs are still here. Everyone's yeah. still doing exactly what they were doing last time I was here. <laughs> the dogs are a little bit different, you know. Uh, well, they're, they're actually not because I was just saying when when we were doing daycare. Oh uh, yeah. Chester, I remember. He was the dog that would run up to Roscoe and all of them when they're in the kennels and bark at them like, na 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 na, you're in there, we're out here. You know, he was really like, well, I was like, Chester, settle down, mate. I wouldn't poke the bear. And then they all remembered him when we were, when we started integrating. Remember that? Yeah, yeah I do remember actually. Ch Chance was a Chance is a, ch just, a Chester yeah. fan. It was Chester. I remember. I never heard it or seen it from Chester yeah. before. And he comes up with this real big 
you know, yeah. solid bark, <laughs> and it was just a real stuff you. I'm out here and you're in there, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Won't always be like this, Chester. <laughs> Luckily, Roscoe has forgiven and for and for forgotten. Yeah. Hello, oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> We've got a kitty now too, mate. Ooh. <laughs> That'll be interesting. We've got a kitty now. You'll meet kitty. She's feisty though. He's <laughs> <laughs> gone round the house. Oh, there he comes. Kitty Chester. <laughs> You've never seen him run so much. Chester ever met a cat before? Well, judging by that uh, interaction, we've probably got a few cat nemesis in the street. Like, <laughs> you. I was watching him when she came out and nothing, but it was because he was weeing. He was, he was frozen weeing and then the cat walked right up to his nose and then he just pounced like a leopard <laughs> with all the agility in the world. <laughs> And now look at him. And now he's gone a marathon trying to find it again. <laughs> She's inside, buddy. We put her away. He missed that bit. Is it in here? Yeah. 
Most dogs that get on something like this, swinging back and forth, would just freak out. But he just relaxes into us. Like, yeah. You know? You know, what dog just gets on and relaxes like this? Everyone, most of them just like launch off as soon as you start moving. He'd probably be good here on the seat of the quad bike. Oh, you want me to go back down? But Choppy's loving the swing. Choppy is loving the swing. It's the first time he's been on a hammock. This place had changed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, spider will be spider. There he is. Oh, he's going up next to the chop. Chop there. Chop, you got a spider on. Oh, there it is. You see it? You see it back there? Look. look. See? Oh, you can't see. Watch out, Barney. Step it up, mate. There it is. There it is. There it is. The spider. Look, 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 look. Spider, spider, spider. There it is. There it is. Ooh, Spidey. <laughs> spidey. It's a wolf spider. Don't pick him up though. No, 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 don't pick him up. Yes, he's under the grass, he's hiding, he's a bit scared. So we don't want to scare him. No, leave him, leave him. He's gone now. He's got the same name as you though. He's a wolf spider. <laughs>
on, mate. You're going crazy. Mom. Oh, like, I think I went too early. Yeah. Too hard, too early, guys. I chased that cat. Guess that boy. Did they 